Hey everyone, welcome to my May favorites, or as I like to call it, my top 20 favorites for May. I've broken them out into beauty, fashion, which is two categories actually, clothing and accessories, and then everything else, which falls under lifestyle. I have noticed that there are quite a few new faces here, so hello. If we are just getting to know each other, please make sure you introduce yourself down below. If you don't know already, my name is Marnie. I am a 49-year-old wife mom to two boys that in June are going to, so in a matter of days, will be 21 and 24. And coming up in June, we're also celebrating our 25th wedding anniversary. My boys don't live at home, but my other babies do. I have three dogs. I have a Weimaraner named Rowdy and two Westies named Wrigley and Mimi, and they'll come up later in this video. Alrighty, so normally I have five favorites per category, but this month beauty was just so good. I could have done just beauty favorites for May. I may just wrap that all up into some summer makeup favorites in June or July, we shall see. But let's start talking about the beauty favorites. So I'm gonna put this under beauty because it's sunless tanning and I feel more beautiful when I have a little more tan. And yes, this is tan. Now it's almost worn off which is why I'm sharing it because you can see it's not patchy. So I found a new favorite sunless tanner and it is the Bondi, I've been told it's Bondi, Bondi Sands Arrow Ultra Dark. Now, as you can see, I am not ultra dark, I am fair skinned, so don't worry, even if you're fair skinned, you won't get too dark. I will say this doesn't last as long as my second favorite tanner, the Loving Tan dark tanner, but the application for this is so much easier and faster. It dries down very quickly and it smells really good. I've also learned that the way to get a darker application, and it even says it on the back, is to apply it, wait 30 minutes, and then do another coat, so to speak, sleep in it, wash it off the next morning. So that's what I'm going to start doing. But I love this. Thank you to my friend Claire who recommended this. It's also a bit less expensive than all my other favorite sunless tanners. Now I don't use that on my face. I, I don't know that I couldn't, but I'm a little trepidatious about putting that on my face and then what happens if it breaks me out. So on my face, I use something that I know won't break me out and I can build up because every time I do sunless tanner, it wears off quite quickly because I use a lot of chemical exfoliants and retinoids and that's just gonna fade pigmentation. So what I use on my face and have used for many years running is from Saint Tropez. It's their Purity Bronzing Mist and it's the most fine mist that's now all over my table. Um, and I love this because one, it's effective. It'll build up to a pretty decent color in a day or two, but you can apply it over makeup. You can apply it right after you wash your face and before you put on other products. You can put it on the end of your skincare routine. It's very user-friendly and it's still very effective. Why am I bringing up sunless tanners at the top of this video and what the heck am I wearing? I'm filming this on Memorial Day weekend. I'm doing a little work and then a little play. So, although I love what I do and it feels like play all the time, but I'm going to turn this video off when I'm done filming and go straight out my back door to my pool. So I'm actually wearing my bathing suit and a pool swimsuit cover-up for this video. If you're wondering why it's uh, it's cut really low. It's a little boobalicious, so I just cut the the uh, camera up a little higher this time. And don't worry, everything's down in the description box. All right, let's get to the makeup makeup part. So a few standouts. Let's start with on my eyes, and I went a little lighter because I'm gonna just, like I said, walk right out, full makeup, go lay out in the pool. This eyeshadow palette. I haven't even used this in a video. I've been wearing it nonstop since I got it. You've seen glimpses of it on Instagram stories. It's the Too Faced Born This Way Sunset Stripped. This is not just the ultimate summer palette. I mean, these colors are stunning. It does smell quite strongly of suntan lotion, but I don't smell it once it's on my eyes, of course. But these colors are so beautiful for summer. I also feel like they're year-round shades. I am a big fan of neutrals and beiges and tans and browns and give me a good metallic and I am hooked. I'm actually wearing Shell Yeah all over the lid and then I just did a butter pecan in the crease. So I just kept it pretty light. 
It's still a lot for going in a pool, I get it. The other summer palette, and this is an old favorite, and I just did a video where I used this in a look, and I'll link it up there and down below. It's the Dominique Latte palette. This is the first one. There's a Latte 2 as well that is very similar. This one is a lot more warmer toned. I love a shimmery all over lid look in the summer. And these three shimmer shades are hands down just absolutely beautiful, buttery, creamy, heavily pigmented, and all three can easily just be worn as a one and done shadow washed all over the lid. Outstanding. Now these matte shades are also beautiful and can be worn just as a neutral matte little warm eyeshadow look. You can add in some pops of color. I never reach for these, but if you like color, those are great. And so these are two of my current absolute favorite palettes. I also have some little glimmer going on on the cheek. I've talked about this as well. This is the newest release from the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Wand line, and this is the Pillow Talk shade. Some people use this as just um, a highlighter because it is very glowy. I just like the subtle glow that it gives and the subtle, well, it's not so subtle, is it? But the subtle color that it gives to my cheeks. I think this works really nicely, also layered under powdered blush. You can get that glow from within and you carry this product up under the cheekbones so you get sort of a two-in-one highlight blush deal. This is so pretty. Speaking of a two-in-one, talked about this on Instagram as well. These are from my friend Jamie Makeup. She has her own makeup line as well. She's a celebrity makeup artist in LA, does a lot of huge names you would recognize. Check her out on Instagram. But she just released a new product called the Bloss, and it's a combination of a lip balm and a lip gloss. I have all three. There's a clear, which isn't worth demonstrating, the nude one, which is on right now, and the pink one. And they are perfect for summer because they give you some color, but they're balmy and moisturizing without being in a solid balm form, which will more than likely melt in your bag if you spend any time outside. So these, I think, are the summer lip product, and I really hope she comes out with like the coral one, maybe the red one. I see a theme here, so I'm loving this. And then the last beauty favorite that we have all been waiting for for so long is back. Look who's back. This is the Colleen Rothschild Quench and Shine Restorative Mask. It is a hair conditioner. It smells so good. I have noticed a huge difference when I use it and when I don't. And I haven't been using it for a while. I use it when I'm on vacation or when I'm traveling. And so when we traveled early in May, we went to Houston and I was using it then. I noticed how great my hair was turning out and Houston is not known for being a good town for hair with their humidity. It was this. I use this as a daily conditioner every time I wash my hair, but you can also leave it in for a long time and then it functions as a hair mask. I know a lot of you are also huge fans of the shampoo that goes with this and a little bird told me there should be a restock in June. I will keep you posted more than likely over on Instagram. This is fantastic. All right, let's move on to clothing. Four things for you, sort of. You'll see how I did this. First of all, hands down, this sheer, sheared, sheared, I don't know, this midi dress. It has a kind of ruching, let's call it, along the bodice, a nice v-neck. The most beautiful dress. It's so flattering on so many figures. I finally have come to realize that a fit and flare, slightly A-line skirt on me is the way to go in a dress. I can't wear that with every dress, but that is my preferred silhouette. This is under $40, I think it's under $35, comes in solids, comes in patterns, and I now own two and a half. I own two, I have one in solid green, one in a plummy purple floral, and I've ordered a third new pattern that it's on its way to me. Oh, this dress, I love it on its own. I love it paired with a stretchy raffia belt. I love it with sandals. I think it would be fun with sneakers. It's such a great dress and it would fit so many occasions and it has pockets. Number two is really, they're two separate pieces, but I prefer to wear them together. And it's this cotton tank and wide leg crop pant set. It's 100% cotton, it's so comfortable, it feels like loungewear, gives you the look of wearing a jumpsuit, but they're two pieces, so it's easy to go to the bathroom. So this, to me, is going to be a road trip staple, a loungewear staple around the house, I absolutely love it. 
I don't know what's going on with Walmart as far as restocks go. They used to have that email me alert button so you would get an email alert when stuff came back in stock. They got rid of it so I just stock their website on a daily basis because I wanna get another version of this set in the black option. And the next thing I've been stocking for is what's third on my clothing favorites and that is this eyelet midi dress. So I have it in black. It is so pretty. I hate saying this because I don't wanna put down Walmart, but you would never in a million years think this dress is from Walmart. You'd think I picked it up at Nordstrom. It's, I believe it's $40. It's outstanding. I wore it to my Kendra Scott meetup. Again, it's beautiful on its own. It looks even better paired with a belt to give you a little more waistline definition. It has pockets. The hemline is the perfect length. Here's the weird thing I've been hearing from a lot of you. Some of you will sign on to the Walmart website, click on that link, and it's sold out in all the sizes and all the colors. Others of you have been like, oh, fully stocked in every color where I am. So I would say just keep checking because while I do own it in black, I really, really wanted it. My first choice was in red. So if you are looking for a graduation dress, uh, some kind of wedding shower, a baby shower dress, at any occasion, it would be a great wedding guest dress. If you can get your hands on this one, snatch it up. And then my last clothing favorite for May is this ribbed tank from Athleta. I did do an Athleta dressing room try-in recently. I'm in love with this brand. There are so many great pieces. I just dipped my toe in it. I'm sure you'll be seeing more pieces in my wardrobe as the months go on, but I love this microfiber. I think it's microfiber, but it's ribbed tank top because it it's not marketed as something that will suck you in, but it is technically a workout tank. So it does give you a little more compression. And so I feel a lot more comfortable wearing it just tucked into any kind of bottoms. And I'm not so worried about the muffin top thing. It runs true to size. I have it in a size small. It is definitely more of a racer back. So you're gonna wanna wear a racer back bra or a strapless bra with it, but it's super comfortable. It gives you great support. And I love that it is a workout tank that doesn't look like a workout tank. So I know a lot of us are traveling in the next few months. If you're also bringing workout gear, this can do double duty for you. And it comes in a bunch of colors. I only got it in the black so far. I only have three accessory favorites to talk about. I felt like I really wanted to focus on the standouts and beauty. So let's talk about what's around my neck first. Dean Davidson just came out with a new birthstone collection. And I believe this pendant comes in different sizes, but this is my birthstone, which is an aquamarine. It's very subtle. It layers really nicely with other necklaces. It's sort of almost like a paper clip chain. So you can put the clasp wherever you want it. So I can make this uh, shorter. It actually falls a bit longer if you want. And then this pendant comes off and it's a really pretty just chain all by itself. It's a really nice yellow gold. I'm really loving it. I do have a discount code. I believe it's 25% off. So go check down in the description box. Um, I also need to talk about these earrings. Now there's a whole collection centered around this stone. This is the newest release from Kendra Scott, sort of like a mosaic. It has turquoise, it has orange, it has creams, it has corals. It's so beautiful. They have this stone in a few pieces, but I just, I love these earrings because I feel like they're big enough that you can see them, but they're not so big that they're necessarily a statement earring, but then this beautiful mosaic kind of stone pattern makes it still a, a statement, but it's very lightweight and I absolutely love these. Of course I love these, they're my favorites. But the standout favorite for accessories is this guy, this straw bag, again from Walmart, so you know it's budget friendly. It comes in three colors. I have it in the natural. It comes in black and a beautiful hot pink. This is the bag for summer. I mean, I am partial, of course, to the bag I designed with Gigi New York, but I'm talking about a specific season bag. It's got the straw, it has the fun resin. You can carry it like a clutch. You can carry it over your shoulder. You can take these gold rings and clip a longer strap to it and wear it as a crossbody. But not only that, it's actually functional. It's not just pretty. I have another straw bag that I purchased from Walmart and it's cute, but it's not necessarily functional. And this ticks all those boxes. It's huge, it's lined, it has a zipper pocket, it has all, it has a slip pocket. I love it. Such a great piece. If you're looking for just something fun, trendy, seasonal to add to your accessories, you're not gonna be sad about this one. 
And then lastly, let's get into lifestyle so I can get in the pool. I wish, I wish we could all hang out the pool together. That would be fun. But anyway, number one, since I have swimming on my brain, my pool lounger. Now I got this last year, but I really didn't get a chance to use it very much because I got it towards the end of the season. It's a two in one, so you can, it blows up and you, you can set it up so you're just sitting up. You don't have to worry about your hair getting wet. You can read, you can do your thing. It has cup holders. It also has this removable insert that when you're using it to sit up, it attaches to the side of your floaty and you use it sort of like a table. You can set your Kindle on there. You can set your phone down there, your suntan lotion, whatever. It has the cup holders as well. But then if you wanna lay on your stomach, you can lower the backrest and then you take the pool float accessory and stick it where your feet go so then it's just flat. So you can use it both ways, inexpensive. Um, I really want the ones on front gate, but they're like 300 and something dollars and this is around 50 or 60. So much more budget friendly comes in a lot of colors and there is even an option that has a sunshade over it, which is kind of nice. Um, number two, I have not gotten as much work done as I should be because I am so into this series. It's the Rose Gardener mystery series. I think there's something like 16 books in the series. There's a few novellas that are kind of in the, in between some of the books, but it's set in a small town in Southern Arkansas, and it's about a young girl, well, a young woman, she's 24, I think, when it starts, and kind of her coming of age and finding herself and solving a bunch of mysteries and small town Southern life and just all the things. I love it. There are two spin-off series that I'm starting to get into from that as well. So if you want a good long series to immerse yourself in, check out the Rose Gardener series. Okay, number three, and I probably need this because I've wasted so much time reading. Is it really a waste of time if you're reading? I, I, I don't think so. But it helps me when I have this visual timer to keep me focused. I've mentioned this earlier. It's just an easy way for me to keep on track and visually see how much time I have, how much time I have left without using something like the Amazon Echo, which has a timer, but I won't see how much time is left without using a telephone so that every time, phone, every time I look down at it, it's, you know, there's gonna be, look, there's things on there that are distracting me. So I like that this is very simple. It comes in other colors besides the bright turquoise. It's very simple, and very efficient, very effective. This really came in handy recently when we traveled, but I realize this isn't just a travel thing. This is great for anyone who doesn't have an outlet as close to your nightstand or wherever it is that you're sitting that you need one. And it is this USB port multiple outlet donut, let's call it. So it has the three outlets and then it has three USB ports. It does have a power button on there. And then there are options, but I went with the 15 foot long cord. I believe there's also five, 10, and maybe 20 or 25 feet long. And what I love especially about it, aside from the very long extension cord part and the multiple outlets, is that it has rubber feet. So when you place it on a hard surface, the weight of this cord is gonna drag it off and have it fall off the side. You all know what I'm talking about. And then the last thing, I mentioned my dogs at the very beginning of this, they like to jump in the pool. Well, two out of three of them do. Wrigley, not so much. But they all needed new colors, and I've been looking for just the right size and all the things, and I found them on Amazon, and I wanted everybody to get a different color. Obviously, the Westies have a different size than Rowdy, but I love these. They're so much easier to get on and off than other ones that I've had. I love the color options, and even getting in and out of the pool with the salt water, it's not fading their colors at all, and it's also not transferring the color onto their fur. Mimi has almost like a permanent pink stain around her neck from her last color. So I know I have a lot of dog owners that watch me. I just wanted to recommend these colors, and they are reflective. So God forbid they get out at night, you'll be able to see them. Well, that's it for May favorites. June is a big month. We have a lot going on, like I mentioned. There's two birthdays. There's a 25th wedding anniversary. There's some traveling to see the kids for their birthdays. So please make sure you are subscribed so you can keep up with all the fun. I also have a weekly newsletter that gives you a lot more of this stuff on a weekly basis. So you don't have to wait till the end of the month to find out all the favorite things. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Again, welcome to everyone who is new here. I hope you stick around for a while and I'll see you in the next one.